Ladies and gentlemen, today we look at Laurent Blanc, medium high work rates. He's six foot four, by the way. What a huge man he is. I powered him up with the catalyst because he's defending the physicals. Looks sensational altogether. What a car this is. Honestly, he looks so, so good. Now, I used him in foot champions. And yes, I have to say, he was an absolute bull. Look at that. A real stronghold of the defense. A real bully. Now, Laurent Blanc's got a few issues, even though he's really, really good. Look at that slide tackle. Fantastic. Dominant stand tackle right there. I feel like 83 pace, no offense right now, even with the catalyst, the shadow, is just not quick enough. So there are situations, and his agility and balance isn't the best. He's a huge, huge guy. I mean, this is apparent with every single Blanc card, okay? He can be turned quite easily, and he's not the quickest. You know Rio Ferdinand? He's got that 85 pace now, right? Trust me, I'm not lying to you. I, I played with both of them. Rio is so much better. This guy cost me 950,000 coins. At the same time, I picked up Rio. Now, I know Rio's gone up because he's so, so good, and probably people were selling him so cheap early doors. I would happily save up an extra 300k or whatever and pick up Rio Ferdinand in this card. This card's not got the best agility and balance. This card hasn't got the pace of a Rio Ferdinand. And I feel like these things are very important to understand. I mean, look at look the game. If you want an end game centre back, he has to above 85 pace now. I'm sorry, that, that, that time's gone now. 80. Like, I remember you can start the game with 75 pace centre backs. Then we move to 80. 81, 82 is good, but not enough. Now a minimum 85. Now I have to say this. Sometimes, I mean, most of the time, this, this card is phenomenal. I mean, stand tackle, slide tackle, unbelievable. But there's times where I felt like, you know what? Should I won the ball there? And then he's left me in a situation where I'm vulnerable or susceptible to a goal. And I really noticed that and it really annoyed me. I mean, look at this clip. That, that, that was fantastic. But there was times where he did let me down. Considering his price and what he offers, I do think this card is going to rapidly reduce in price. I don't see a massive difference between this card, his prime and his mid. Okay, I'm going to be absolutely honest with you. I do think this card is going to go down. Whilst people are real fair and just going to go up and up and up because he is so, so good in the game. This card is not disappointing. Look how easily he can be turned. Do you get what I mean? Uh, he's so easily turned because he's 6 4 4 I'm going to give this card... I give Rio a, I, I legit like give Rio a 10 yesterday. He's that good. He's so, so good. I'm going to give this card. Like, this was a nice header, by the way. So there's definitely good things about him, okay? I think he's very good at blocking and stuff like that. Solid stand tackle. And I don't want to diss Blanc. I'm a huge fan of Blanc. Don't get me wrong. I love this card. But when you pair him up to Rio and consider the fact that Rio's only like 200k more, this card is nowhere near Rio 39. That's why I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna give him an 8.9 out of 10. Thank you very much for watching. And I would say this: don't get him. I don't recommend him. Honestly, don't. Okay. Get a real. Like so far, I've only used one prime icon moments, and I was blown out of the way. And that was real Ferdinand. Man, don't get me wrong. This guy is good. He is solid. I mean, look at that. He definitely does good. But he's no real Ferdinand. And I want to provide and give you the best advice.